Hopefully you've had a chance to try this uh, practice problem. I'll go through the solution now. Um, and it's looking at another uh, radio active, or sorry, a radio metric uh, dating problem. And this is looking um, at something that was 15,600 years ago um, and looking at a living sample that's giving off uh, radiation at 20 counts per minute per gram of carbon. And so this is instead of disintegrations per minute, counts per minute, which is again measuring rate. Uh, so we are gonna solve this in a really similar way. We're going to use uh, our half-life equation. And we're gonna use our integrated rate law. Uh, so that 20 counts per minute um, is for a living sample, so that's this rate zero, so 20.0 counts per minute. Um, and we are looking for what to expect for counts per minute. So we're gonna solve for this rate right here. And we know that our, our time is gonna be 15,600 years. So our K, uh, we've calculated before, but we'll do this again. So we're trying to solve that from our half-life expression. Um, so our K value is going to equal 0 0.693. And I'm, I'm rearranging this. So my uh, 6.93 is divided by my half-life to give me the value of my rate constant. Uh, and my half-life is 5,730 years. Uh, and this will give me a value of 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth inverse years. And I can now plug that into my equation and solve for the rate t. <coughs> so that, that rate that counts per minute will be equal to my initial rate uh, times e to the negative kt. So plugging in, that's going to be my 20 uh, counts per minute times e to the negative 1.209 times 10 to the negative fourth inverse years times that 15,600 years. Uh, and when I plug that in, I get a value that is 3.03 uh, .03 counts per minute. So I expect something that's over 15,000 year years old to have show uh, radioactivity at three counts per minute versus 20 counts per minute for something that's living.